How about God rays in Blender Eevee? Add a spotlight in the scene, move it above your objects, and let's spam the power in it to 100K. Easy, right? Next, we need a plane. Add it below the spot so it covers its light just like shown, and if you scale it, make sure to apply the scale. We can now select the plane first, then the spot, and with Control P, choose the first option. This way, the plane will follow the spot. Something optional you could add to the spot is a track to constraint. Then choose one of the objects as a target for easily direct the light. For volumetrics, we only need a cube, a big one to cover the scene, remove the surface shader, then add to it a scatter volume. A value of 0 0.01 to the density and 0 0.7 on the anisotropy is fine in general, but you can play with it. What left is some noise in the plane we placed in front of the light, so select it, add a new material, then use a noise texture with a color ramp in its alpha. Increase the noise scale, play with the ramp sliders, the basic to get a solid look so we can enhance it in the settings. EV samples need a boost, for sure, and the shadow tab has a resolution value. Put that near zero. We can also increase the volumetric resolution to quarter. Still, the default is fine. The spot settings can help you smooth the pattern or change the size for the covered area. To boost the effect at last, we can change the viewport shading to always, so that if we add a glare node in the composition, the bloom will appear in the viewport and in render, and it looks awesome. That's it. Have fun doing this, and save it in the recycle bin. Stay sharp. Goodbye.